go. We got some live shrimp, a pint. These guys are rather small. I'm gonna let y'all have a look at them really quick just to see what we're working with today. made it out towards the end of the rocks and I'm thinking I'm thinking that I'm gonna use the voodoo shrimp to start out with first we want to try our best to throw what has been told to me is the absolute best we'll go to the uh, savage gear last because I'm thinking you save the best for last maybe I'm gonna eat my own words and you all out there who are using these know better than me because guess what I'm just a not I'm a rookie actually I'm not even a novice so uh, let's try to get a few catches under our belt with this thing and see what we're going to be able to do. Hopefully I'm going to be able to cast it out there that far too. All right, here we go. Voodoo shrimp. Says this thing is super tough. I saw like a little bit of mesh. Yeah, it's got that mesh right there. So that's what holds the plastic together. I won't hesitate to put this on a slip cork as well, just to leave it out there. But what I want to do is cast it at first and just reel it back in. It's fairly easy to cast on this light setup. It's a very expensive mistake. I uh, I intentionally let it go super far down and was trying to jig it down there towards the bottom. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose this one. That hook is down there. It's crazy that I can get like treble hooks on a spoon off like this, but for this guy, I don't think he's coming off. Usually it would come off already. Oh, oh man. Got it! Without the lure. Yeah, we just donated a uh, costly lure. Yeah, we were stuck big time. There's like all kinds of abrasions right there. At least DOA gives you three shrimps. It's better than the other two guys. Awfully proud of their stuff. Charging as much as they do and giving you less. Let's get these first cast jitters out the way with the DOA shrimp. Should be able to cast it just as far as well. Yeah. Just gotta be careful with the rocks that are right down there. I let the other one sink way too long. It was like a 13, 14, 1000 count, something like that. And it's just way too far down. We're gonna tie the slip cork on and use these right here rather than just continuously swimming it. I am not willing to get these things stuck on the very first day. They're not cheap, pretty expensive. So I'll be right back as soon as I get this slip cork tied up. We're good to go and I think I'm gonna be fishing. Let's see how far I've got mine set to fish down. Looking for my bobber saw, oh, there it is right there. That's about five and a half feet down that I'm gonna be fishing. And I've got like a little uh, a loop knot down there just so that I have some action. That's some very thick line right there, 30 pound leader line. <laughs> as soon as my line hit the water, there was like some type of a leather jacket or something like that that just went airborne. It didn't look like a mullet. Probably can. Christian's talking about the green water right over there. That's what we really need to come up against the rock so that this chocolate milk stuff is just gone, but it's slowly made its way in. So I'm pretty happy and stoked about that. I'm gonna see if I can actually cast my line into that dirty line. Even though this ain't a popping cork, I'm going to twitch it just to get my shrimp some action. That's a speck. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna spike mine with shrimp. There we go, right there. I got some live shrimp right here, y'all. Spiking my my dead or my artificial lure with some live shrimp. So if we're gonna have any luck, right now is gonna be the time. We got the green water finally blown in by them south winds. South and then south southeast. Saw somebody hook up down that way. Looked like a speckled trout. So I think if we get lucky, we're gonna start showing y'all some catching. I've got the live shrimp on there. I wanna see if I can at least attract them to that. And then if I can catch something, then I'll leave the live shrimp off and go solely with the artificial. We'll see what happens. We're fishing about 11 feet down, maybe 30 to 40 yards away from the rocks on the jetties. Pushing my line up against the rocks. It keeps pushing my line up against the dang rocks. So as I'm complaining, well, we just get rewarded, y'all. Nice little speck right there. Oops. Well, that was a speck. Not much I could do about that right there. Besides use a net. Let's make an attempt to see if he's okay. Oh yeah, there's plenty of water down there. Now, whether he gets out, that's all on him. But y'all see that? Plenty of water coming in and out of there. So, uh, fella might be waiting till high tide. We got like two and a half, three inch shrimp right here that we're using. It's the same size as those artificials that I had tied on earlier but I don't think that I want to use those because they're just not they're not producing a bite fishing about five five and a half feet down and uh, just lucky enough to generate a bite I, I mean they're obviously missing my hook big time I got him, son. It's a sheep's head. Gorgeous sheep's head. Uh, yeah, 15. I don't, I don't know what size he is. Oh, maybe, uh, you see that, yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. He's too small. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. These guys have been tormenting myself and Christian all day long. That's what I'm imagining is actually like biting our line, stealing our shrimp. this guy wants to be tribute he just jumped out got you knew it was a sheep's head son looks to be a keeper too y'all you do not know how patient I've been trying to be catching these turds right here don't worry buddy you're going to the other side he's undersized but nonetheless these guys have been stealing our bait this circle hook like just got them good too so what happens is uh, they take the cork under we go to set the hook and for just a quick moment there's a little bit of tension then they open their darn mouth and then off the fish goes. All right, let's get a decent look at that little undersized turd. We're gonna go through all of them. We're gonna get them all to this side so that they don't bite no more. I give you a 10 for the dive. 
I just made the switch up. I've been using a number 14 treble hook. I mean, these guys are very hard to find. You probably got to order them online if you're gonna try to use something like this. Uh, they go for tiny little micro cranks. That's their replacement hooks for that. And being that the sheep's head are undersized, I still wanna catch them. I mean, I don't care. I'm just out here having fun. We're not trying to catch to keep. We just wanna catch fish, that's it. So we switched all the way down to these little micro size treble hooks. And as soon as our cork is going down, that's when we're setting the hook. Not trying to let them get gut hooked or anything like that. But it happens to be the like hook that's small enough for them to chomp down. And then once they do that, they don't really feel or see the hook I'm I'm thinking, I mean, it's just so small. Hopefully it's gonna work and we're gonna be able to catch maybe a couple more sheep's head. Kind of weed out all the little ones if we have to. I just took my cork down. I'm waiting for him to take it down again. Like they're literally chomping at it and then they take it down just really quick and then let it go and then they come back and chomp at it again. Freaking turds, man. I'm telling y'all what, these guys are turds. I guarantee they cut them in half and they don't want the other half. Yep, see? Told you. Look at that. They just left me the head with the hook. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this. You go ahead, bro. Boy, those pesky sheep's head. I have a mind to do some dental work on them once I catch them. I don't know. Gotcha. Turd. I mean, if we can get to the bigger ones, that'll be awesome. This one's a keeper. Let's see if it's big. No, this about too little. 14? Yeah, right yeah, 15. Right on. Yeah. Hey, low. 15. You want to take? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling y'all what. I love it when a plan comes together. Those turds, their days of stealing our bait. <laughs> their days of stealing our bait are long gone, man. We're weeding through the little ones already. That's it, y'all. We have exhausted all of our batteries for the day, and I think this is gonna be my last update. We're also running short on shrimp, so we're probably not running that short because there's no shortage of the real tiny micro ones. What we're gonna do is start doubling and tripling up to give it a bigger food profile out there. Hopefully we might get a spec that's what I'm going after right now. So you guys, please cross your fingers for me. Go light a candle, roast a chicken. I mean, do something because I really want to come away with at least one speckled trout. I got his little butt. Look what it was. Is that a baby jack? I have no idea what that is. It's not a jack. It's it doesn't, it does not look, perch. it does not look like a croaker. It's the silver perch. Also known as sugar trout. It does not look like a croaker. Man, I can't get this dude. I'm telling you, it's a sugar trout or a silver perch. Dude. I know those fish. I know every fish because oh. I read a book about them. He's not going to bite our line no more. Alrighty, y'all. So we done ran out of juice before we ran out of shrimp, but check this out really quick. That's how close we were to finishing. We only got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight live shrimp. And uh, those guys were the ones who outlasted everybody else. Their freedom has been purchased. We're about to dump them back in. Let's give it up for those sheep head though, because without those little buck tooth bandits, we wouldn't have been able to post this video. So I am stoked that we turned something. Like we grinded, huh, son? Yeah, like five we hours. We literally grinded for five hours 
to just establish a bite and then it saved the day so thank you so much for tagging along on the adventure i'm going to clean up a little bit of the trash brought the uh, academy bag out here with us that we had the voodoo shrimp in and uh, the other plastics so uh, yeah thanks again i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to click that thumbs up button for us and until next time tight lines y'all